Wait. What just? No. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Retro John R G L? Retro Thon even. Could be a John. I don't know. What's going on, everyone? I'm bringing some solstice action at you today. I think this is my first speedrun in almost exactly two months, so this should be interesting. This is a lovely title, full of loveliness. As you'll see, the music is pretty on point here. Oh, you're getting a banger alert, alright. Alright, let's go. Oops. Wait, hold on here. There we go. Alright. As you can see, Princess Eleanor got kidnapped. So now, we need to go rescue her. And to do that, oops, we need to collect all the pieces of the Staff of Demnos. It's the Staff of Demnos, so pay attention. It's important. It's going to be on the quiz tomorrow. That death was not... What I was looking for there, but that's okay. It's gonna be a quiz tomorrow, and we're gonna eat Quiznos during it. Just FYI. Alright, so let's not do something silly like that again. I'm half contemplating not even going for the risky jump here, but I mean, you gotta go for some swag, right? <laughs> I didn't get the jump off the cube the second time. Alright, that's fine. There we go. Oh, there's a great, uh, great second jump there. Alright. Alright, so we're just gonna use this instead. <laughs> uh, so as you saw on the menu there, there are four potions. And, uh... Each pot we'll be using three of the four. The one we're not using just reveals invisible objects, which we don't need. The yellow potion freezes items in the air, makes it nice and easy. Uh, the purple one is the one we're going to be using soon that makes you invulnerable in that current room. And there's also one that clears the room of enemies. Here's another piece of the staff. Uh, this, this game has like a ton of room, I don't know, like 300 some rooms or something like that. I don't actually remember the total, but it's pretty crazy. It's a real, it's actually an incredibly well made puzzle game. The way the uh, controls work in this game and everything, it's very fluid, very, very nice. You can buffer all of your jumps, all of your inputs. Alright, so now we're gonna go over to the purple here. So we can jump off that thing, get up here, and continue on. The potion usage is gonna be very, very close on this. Oh god! I don't even know how I managed to do that. So let me apologize now, I'm a bit tired. So this is going to be an interesting run, to say the least. So we did some buffering jumps there. Alright. And uh, they made us get through that room easily. There's another piece of the staff. We actually used the credit back there to uh, get over here. Much easier. Um, we're going to wait for this extra life, for sure. We've had a few unfortunate deaths here early on. <clears throat> But also, in this next room, we're going to get a continue for ultimate safety. Alright, so our next... We gotta go to a specific room here towards the end. Clear the room of enemies here. There's gonna be some old strats in this run, too. Um, we gotta go to this um, way out of the way place, of course, to get a piece of the staff. I went for a spike jump there. I'm I'm really not going for any spike jumps. I was taking that very easy. Uh, so I think there's like a two pixel window 
or two frames, I don't uh, remember which, to actually hit those jumps. Hello, outside world dogs. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm also excited for Solstice. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party, pal. All right, uh, but this room, this is probably one of the more dangerous rooms. The movement of these enemies is completely random. So, all right, there we go. Uh, oh, no problem at all. My pleasure. I love Retrothon. I certainly love Wed Neste, part of Retrothon specifically. You know how many good runs have happened today? Literally every single one of them on, on RGL today. So You should follow every runner in this marathon. Alright. We buff for that jump there, grab that box, and we need to push out the staff in this room. That's the second to last piece. Uh, the last one is quite a ways away towards the end, but, uh, but now we just gotta make our way there. <coughs> Alright. Get some bubble action going here. I gotta ride it across the spiky pit. Wait! Those two goblins are right there! It's tricky! Game's tricky! Look at that! Try to take out the floor from under me. But yeah, there's lots of traps like that all over this game. Uh, it's honestly one of my favorite puzzle games. It's so much fun. It's not even really about the puzzle. Like, the movement in this game is so good. I've never played an isometric game with better movement in it. Alright, gotta make this jump. Alright, that's an important jump. I don't hit that jump. That's GG. <laughs> Alright, so that's we use our last potion there. Good jump. Alright. A little tricky, but we got it. No! Let go of the key! Thank you. Alright. Uh, by the way, the keys, they don't might not look like they do anything, but if you don't grab the key, that door isn't open there, and other doors in this game are not open, so... The keys just kind of open, I guess, hidden, or just block passages. Not really like a door. Alright. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Look at that jump. Alright, we're actually pretty home free now. This is the last puzzle. A little bit of a rocky start, but we came back when it was mattered most. Gotta stay up in the clutch. Boosh! I'm gonna wait an extra little amount of time there so we can get the, a little extra uh, falling distance. And again, we're gonna wait a little extra time here. Push that over there. Here's the last piece. Now, as you can see, we're flashing, we're invulnerable, we can touch these enemies. Except for spikes. Can't touch spikes. So we finally got it, we can enjoy our invulnerability for two seconds, the game's over. Shadex! Prince of Zelda! Too late, Shadex, the evil has awakened. And here is the lovely ending. That's the whole ending. But the music in this game is phenomenal. Like, seriously top-notch. But listen to the layers. It's so good. Uh, but... That is Solstice, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, for, I think this is the one game I have in the marathon. I don't know if I'll be back or not, but that is besides the point. Coming up after me, we got Ant doing Renegade. It's gonna be awesome. Continue watching the marathon, and I will see you lovelies in chat.